What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, super excited to be bringing you guys a Swift Swim Weakness Policy Ludicolo team for Ranked Regulation. Now Ludicolo, super dope Pokemon, love it in the rain, learns to move fake out. So what we want to do is actually lead Ludicolo and lead Pelipper, set the rain, fake out turn one, and then you turn into our own Ludicolo with Pelipper to pop that Weakness Policy. So at that point, we can be plus two on attack, we can have the speed boost due to Swift Swim, we can really thrive out with Ludicolo. Ludicolo's move set consists of Surf, which is a double hitting move, also has Giga Train, which is Stab and an HP recovery move, and like we already mentioned, Fake Out, and then we got Protect. So Ludicolo, gonna be a lot of fun, cannot wait to use it. Its best friend is right next to it, going to be Pelipper, which Rizzle and the Focus Sash as its item. Other moves instead of U-Turn is going to be Hurricane, Tailwind for Speed Control, and then it also has Wide Guard, which is really good, stopping double hitting moves. Other Pokemon on today's team is going to be Gardevoir and Indeedee, another great combo for today's team. Gardevoir has Expanded Force, Indeedee has a Psychic Train, you guys know what happens after that. We also have Iron Treads in today's video. Iron Treads don't really use it too much, but gonna be pairing up with Ludicolo. We can pop Weakness Policy with Volt Switch, pivot out, get a different Pokemon in there. Plus, you can deal with Fairy types pretty easily with Iron Head, considering it is a stab type move. Our final Pokemon is going to be Water Ogre Pond, another Pokemon thriving out in the rain. On top of that, you can get some HP recovery from Surf if it's paired up next to Ludicolo, and it can really just thrive out in any situation. Guys, you want to rent the team for yourself? Rental code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, make sure you leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's hop into our first match showcasing this policy, Ludi Colo. Moving on to our first match for today's video, and we're going up against a decently meta squad. They got Urshroof, Golden Go, Landorus, Ogre Pond, just like us. And then on top of that, they got Fluttermane and Tornadus, two great Pokemon that are thriving out in the meta right now. But who should we lead and how should we get after it? We could go Ludicolo and we could go Pelipper. Not a bad lead for us. And that's something I actually kind of like. Something I really like. I'm going to go into both of them. I don't mind it. So both of these guys are going to pop out for us. We're going to bring Water Ogre Pond in the back end. And then last but not least, we could just go straight Gardevoir. We could go in with Iron Treads with the booster energy. Not going to be bad here. Booster energy speed with high horsepower. I do like that. I do like that. So you know, we're going to go in with Iron Treads. He can deal with Golden Go. He can deal with Flutter Main. I like it. I like it late game. But we're not going to be bringing in our Psy Spam East Expanding Force little combo right there. You guys seen that plenty of times. We're rocking out with Ludicolo here in match number one. Trying to get after it and trying to win it with our opponent. But I wonder who they're going to lead. Probably Tornadus and hopefully not Golden Go or, or Flutter Main. That could be annoying. And it's going to be Flutter Main because I wanted a Pokemon that I could fake out. And chances are he's going to be Covert Cloak with the what's it called? He's definitely going to be Cover Cloak with the, uh, with the Tornado. So Fake Out's not going to be our friend. It's just not going to be our friend. So from here, I am just going to end up going for a Tailwind here. And just protecting you. Right? Or do I U-turn this turn? I could U-turn and maybe just go for a Surf. Let me see the speeds real quick. I mean, Ludicolo is going to be faster regardless. I kind of like this. Hmm. Yeah, you know what? That's going to be your play. We're going to go for a nice little protect here. We're going to set up Tailwind. But Ludicolo is just going to drop a nice little protect. I believe they're going to go for Tailwind. Maybe even Bleak Wind Storm here. Yeah, no Tailwind. So Tailwind pops out here. I don't mind that too much. And he's going to go for a Dazzle Gleam, which I don't mind. To be honest, we might just let this Tornadus pop Weakness Policy. We might just let Tornadus pop Weakness Policy. The Flutter Main's gonna be fastest on the field. Actually, Ludicolo might outspeed it, which could be good. It could be good. I can actually dodge Bleak Wind Storm here and Dazzle Gleam. So I'm gonna set up a Wide Guard here. And I think I'm just gonna attack. I think I'm just gonna attack. I could just Water Terra. Set a Weakness Policy boosting. I could just Water Terra. But honestly, I think we just go for a regular Surf here. No Water Terra. Let's do it. Let's do it. So Wide Guard gonna fly out here. Chances are they could go for Bleak Wind Storm and Dazzling Gleam. I want to pop my Weakness Policy, but it's not looking too good right here. It's not looking too good to just try to pop Weakness Policy. Because say we didn't go for Wide Guard there, Dazzling Gleam KOs us. And we're sitting in a little bit of trouble. So at this point, Surf is going to fly. Going to get blocked by our Pelipper, which is good. And I get to attack these two. The Wide Guard looking wonderful. Not bad damage. Bleak Wind Storm, we get the double block. Huge. 
That's huge. So I could drop another Wygar, probably our best bet, to be honest. And I might just thrash last this turn and go for the move. Go for Surf. I probably should have did it last turn, but let's do it now. Let's do it now. It's a nice little Water Terror coming out from Ludicolo, looking for some big time damage. And again, paired up next to Ogre Pond, I get a constant stream of HP, which is absolutely amazing. So we'll see what they want to do here. My guard's just looking too good not to go for again, right? Play it safe, send it again. Because chances are Bleak Windstorm's the only attacking move that uh, Tornadus has. But he's going to end up with Straw and Flutter. I mean, he's going to go into here. He's just going to go into Urshfu, which is, ooh, the Dark Urshfu. So that's not bad. We're still going to be able to do some big time damage onto that. Surf with the with the Water Terror type. Stab in the rain. Come on, man. Ludicolo thriving out here so far. He's thriving out here. He is thriving out here. So this might KO the Tornadus as well. So Wygard flies through here again. We are ready to go. And Surf is going to connect. And are we KOing the Tornadus? I think we should, right? I think this boost should, should put Tornadus over the top for the KO, right? Get it on out of here. Plus big time damage into the Urshfu. Get it on out my face. Get it on out my face. So Ludicolo is the fastest on the field. Actually, I think Fluttermane outspeeds it. It's the only Pokemon that outspeeds it. And they're going to go into Golden Go here. I don't mind it, so I'm still outspeeding here. They could Sucker Punch me. They could do a lot of different things. Um, y guard. I could Y-Guard just to for make it rain, or I could just go into maybe like Ogre Pond here. What's my play? What's my play? Because how many turns do we have left in the rain? Two? Two turns. Okay, so two turns is good. One turn left in Tailwind. Um... I could go for a U-turn pivot, or I could just double down into you, which is probably my best bet. Just double down into him and just go for a surf. The surf's gonna fly here. We are gonna get rid of the Earth food. No sucker punch, which is awesome. And Ludicolo is killing it right now. It is killing it. No, I KO'd my Pelipper. I didn't think that would KO my Pelipper. I KO'd my my Paloops. Kind of hurt so I would have just wide guarded at that point. But I did KO my Paloops. Let's see what he goes for. He ends up going for a Shadow Ball. So we're still out speeding, which is huge. Um, we're gonna soak that. And now I can just get to bring out my what's it called? Now I get to bring out my Ogre Pond here. A little bit of Ogre Pond action. The Ogre Pond's able to thrive out here. We still have one turn left in the rain. They're forced to go into Flutter Main, and if they don't protect, it's game set match, right? I mean, I would think they would protect you, right? Most likely. It seems like they would protect. But from here, I'm just gonna go for an Ivy Cudgel into that. Surf should be able to finish this one up in the rain. They have no first turn priority, and we'll just see how this one plays out. We'll see. We still have Iron Treads, which is awesome. Booster energy in the back end. Great Pokemon for actually both the Pokemon that they have on the field. It's exactly why I brought it. You got the ground move for Golden Goat. You got the steel move for Flutter Mame. It's a great Pokemon for the back end here. So everything working out perfectly in match number one so far. So far. They still have Terra, don't they? I believe they do. How comes it protect from gold to go? It doesn't look like Fluttermane's protecting. And we're just gonna KO Fluttermane. Yep, cool. Cool. So Fluttermane was in the same position that uh Tornadus was in, able to soak up one without the terror. Now when the second one comes out with a terror, it's gonna KO all day. So bye bye to Fluttermane. Massive one going crazy. Yo, we killed it. We killed it. Ludicolo pretty much KOing everybody on the field and even our own Pokemon. We only lost Pelipper in this battle and it was because of Ludicolo. So from here, we're just gonna go for an Ivy Cudgel. We're gonna double down with a Surf and whichever one hits is gonna get a KO. Yep, Ivy Cudgel. Bop, see you later, get it on out my face. There it is, ladies and gentlemen, one and oh, Ludicolo absolutely killing it in match number one. Moving on to our second match for today's video, Ludicolo absolutely thriving out in match number one. Looking to pop the weakness policy here in match number two, and I think Ludicolo and Pelipper are going to be a rather solid lead. I know they had the Raging Bolt, but at this point, we have Pelipper. We can pop a Tailwind if we want to. I like it. I like it. Pelipper's going to be nice here. We just got to watch out for that Raging Bolt. In the back end, I think a great Pokemon like Gardevoir could be solid, especially with the Choice Scarf. Going to be super effective onto the Shin Pao, onto the Urshfu, onto the Raging Bolt. We got to bring it in here. And then last but not least, Water Ogre Pond. I like it. I feel like our only problem here is going to be Raging Bolt. So if I can get rid of Raging Bolt, we could be thriving out here. 
So my plan here is to set up the Tailwind, try to U-turn into our Ludicolo, really start to thrive after it, get that weakness policy boosted, and then just surf away, right? Surf's big time damage. We love some surf damage. We love some surf damage. So let's see who their lead is here. It is going to be Raging Bolt alongside with Rillaboom. So I think from here we just fake out the what's it called? I think we just fake out the Rillaboom, right? I think we just fake out the Rillaboom. I think that's going to be our best bet. We just fake out. Hmm, it's actually tough. We could fake out the Rillaboom and drop a Hurricane. We might not even want to go for weakness policy here. I think we might just want to double down and roll up and look to get rid of it. To be honest with you guys. To be honest, and then set up a Tailwind next turn to kind of dodge a Thunderclap. I think that might be our best bet. So we're just going to go for a Fake Out here. We're going to make him flinch. We're going to see a Hurricane. We do have Focus Ash on our Pelipper, which is awesome. And we're just going to do some big time damage onto that thing. And we get the Ducks. We love the Ducks. Ducks could definitely come in clutch. So from here, he's just going to go for a Calm Mind boost. He's just going to go for a Calm Mind boost. And I think now is going to be our time to just go for a U-turn into Surf. I think we just do it. It should KO. Weakness policy in the rain, it should KO. At least the what's it called. It should at least KO the roll. Room. So I'm going to go for a U-turn into this Pokemon. Could see Thunderclap. I am terrified of this Calm Mind boosted Pokemon considering we have special attackers. And I don't like that. I don't like that one bit. So he ends up withdrawing the roll room. That's fine by me. That's fine by me. And who are you going to go into here? You got cooking. You got Incineroar ready to roll. Intimidate going to fly. No big deal because I'm surfing it and I should just KO it this turn. Actually, I forgot that you're going to outspeed. But still, I like the damage. I like the damage output there. The damage output, pretty solid. And Pelipper, please tell me you go before Raging Bolt. It doesn't look like it's Thunderclap, and so you should. So you should, because I don't want you to die out here. So you turn, you're going to pop the weakness piles here. Do a little bit of damage. Let's see who Raging Bolt's going to go after. It should be Pelipper. It should be Pelipper. It makes no sense for him not to go after Pelipper. It makes no sense for you not to go after Pelipper. So if they're going for an electric move, I don't mind going into potentially telepathy, or I could go into Ogre Pond. And I think going into Ogre Pond is going to be our best bet. I really do. Considering we have that grass typing, we should be able to soak up whatever he has to offer. It's just going to be Dragon Pulse. Wow, actually, Gardevoir would have been money. It would have been money. But from here, with us out speeding, that's going to be really good. I can just go for Surfs. And I can get some HP recovery from our Ludi Colo. So I think our best bet is just going to be to double protect. Waste out a turn. I have to deal with fake out and then start surfing here for this. Right? Yeah, three turns left in rain. I like it. So double protect. We're not dealing with the fake out. We're going to spike a shield. We're also going to get some HP back for Ogre Pond. And honestly, I think we just go for a follow me. And the reason I say we go for a follow me is because if he wants to go for a, uh, a Thunderclap, it could just take out my Ogre Pond. So, at this point, by going for Follow Me, we can allow it to get back some HP before it takes a hit. There's Fake Out into Ludicolo. Let's see what the Raging Bolt's going to do here. No Calm Minds allowed, right? No, it's Dragon Pulse again. So, it is just Dragon Pulse. I think I still play it safe for Follow Me. I think we still play it safe for Follow Me. And I could Terra. I could Terra here. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna Terra. Terra Surf. Actually, I like to keep our grass typing, honestly. I think we save our Terra. I'm just gonna go for a normal Surf. I'm just gonna go for a Follow Me again, just so. If he wants to go for a Thunderclap, we could dodge it. Follow Me dodges the Thunderclap. This is just a precautionary thing. I wonder what he's gonna do here. He could swap back into Rollaboom maybe, but at that point we pick up the KO up. But then they could bring back out Incineroar and go for Fake Out. A lot of options here. A lot of options. It's actually real tough out here. It's actually real tough. There's the follow me. Cool. Show me Thunderclap. Make my dreams come true. No Thunderclap, but Surf's still gonna thrive. We get some Water Absorb. Bring an Ogre Pond up a little bit in HP. And we get off some nice damage. So we take out Incineroar. 
He's gonna bring back out Rollboom. We already know this, and Dragon Pulse is just gonna pick up a KO. No big deal. No big deal. So, Dragon Pulse KOs my Ogre Pond. I should have just attacked. I should have just attacked, because that could have been some big time damage. But honestly, I think they read our protect. I'm not even gonna lie. Because I know they're going into Rillaboom here. We know that for a fact. I could go back into Pelipper. Try to set up a Tailwind. Could Wide Guard. Wide Guard's not gonna really do much. Um. Yeah, I'm just gonna save my Gardevoir here. Save my lovely little Gardevoir. Um. We're gonna go back into Rillaboom. We already know this. We already know this. And they have Fake Out ready to go. So chances are, I think they're gonna just go into Read My Protect. I'm not even kidding with you. I think they read my protect. I'm just gonna go into Hurricane here. I'm gonna look to drop this thing. I'm just gonna attack. They're gonna try to read my protect. I already know that. I already know this. So I might as well go for a Surf. I might as well look to get off some big time damage. But this could honestly be bad because Surf could KO me here. Maybe I should just went into Giga Drain. But Surf could KO me, allow him Rage Bolt just to attack my. Attack my Ludicolo, which could be dangerous. Let's just see how this plays out. I mean, I maybe should have just swapped into Gardevoir with Telepathy. That could have been pretty good. The Fake Out's going to come into the Pelipper slot. Like I said, they were predicting the Protect. Surf going to fly here. He's going to KO our Pelipper, right? Yeah, and that's where my problem occurred. Now this move is going to go after my Ludicolo. And it's going to do some damage to him. It's going to do some damage. Let's be honest here. It's going to do some damage. How much damage though? Dragon Pulse. Can you soak this? You do. So now you're on 30 HP. I don't know if you have Thunderclap or not. And it's kind of annoying me if you do or don't. I don't know. Because you've just been ripping Dragon Pulses. Rather than Thunderbolts and stuff. Rather than Thunderbolts. So our final Pokemon is going to be Gardevoir. Turns into a 2v2 situation. We do have Psychic as our Terror type. So if you want to boost Psychic moves, we could. Hmm. Let's see who the last Pokemon is. We might want to just use our Terra and boost our Psychic moves. But the final Pokemon is going to be Flutter Mane. The Flutter of Mains. So from here, I'm definitely just going to protect you. To be honest, do I want a Terra Fairy? Not really. I kind of want to keep my Fairy typing. Banding Force could do more damage here. But I mean, they're not going to go for a Dragon Pulse into this slot. I'm just going to Terra Fairy. We're not fairy. I'm just gonna tear this and just start popping expanding forces. Cause honestly, this does. This will be double damage. This does more though. This does more to the other Pokemon. Mm. I'm gonna start trying to get rid of this Fluttermane here. I'm gonna choice an expanding force. I'm choosing into expanding force with the Terra. I just think the damage boost overall is gonna be solid. But obviously, Moonblast will do more into the uh, the Raging Bolt slot. But I think the plus. Plus one on special defense. Kind of tough for us. So we're going to Terrasalize into nice little Psychic. I think they're going to go for Dragon Pulse into, I would think, the Ludicolo slot. Or they might just, like, Daz and Gleam try to attack that. So I'm kind of hoping this Expanding Force could take out the Fluttermane. But I don't think it does. And there's Thunderclap, finally. I was waiting for that move to potentially come out here. I just haven't seen it. So Expanding Force flying here. We got the Choice Scarf. How much damage are we doing? About half. About half. There's Dash and Gleam, and that's gonna wrap up this match. So Raging Bolt, we left it on the field for way too long. We should have dealt with it early on in the match. And I even said it from the beginning. I said, if we can get rid of the Raging Bolt, we're gonna win this match. And we didn't get rid of the Raging Bolt. So we lost this match. So gonna be one and one. I'm gonna run this one with Ludicolo, because he stands no chance because of Thunderclap. And plus uh Fluttermane now outspeeds that little boy. Not in the rain. So I'm just gonna run it. We're gonna go hop into our third, look for a 2-1 ring winning record. Third and final matches here, and we're going up against a Trick Room team. They got Weirdeer, they got Lorantis, they also have Annihilate, Oranguru, Torkoal, and Indeedee. We're going to have to watch out for Oranguru here, because the Oranguru combo could get pretty scary. Could be really scary. So I could go in with Ludicolo, I could go in with Pelipper again if I want to. I mean, we're going to have to kind of counter Trick Room. Can I counter Trick Room with you? I didn't really read your move. Do not counter Trick Room. It's going to be tough here. It's going to be tough, so I'm going to have to figure out ways around this, ways to actually win this matchup. Because they're going to pop Trick Room with either Oranguru 
or or what's it called or indeedy it's again it's real scary so i'm gonna go into both of these guys um honestly i'm just gonna go into oh, i don't really want to go into ludicolo you know what expanding force combo might be our best friend might be our best friend with the psychic terror might be our best friend we're gonna give that a shot then we're just gonna bring ludicolo pelper in the back end this matchup not looking good for us not looking good because they can control weather they can set the trick room and if they do get off trick room we are in some big time trouble so we're one and one we've been playing pretty solid today ludicolo killing it hoping to use a little bit more here but this trick room squad not looking good for us it's just not looking good they got a lot of psychic pokemon so expanding force might not even be that good they just go in dd Arango to pretty much freely set up the trick room it's pretty free it's pretty free so from here we maybe just go helping hand expanded for see how much damage that could do i mean the damage output could be pretty strong considering it's gonna be stabbed we could terrasalize here as well but i mean expanding force not going to be anything crazy we might be better off just going for dazzling gleam and i kind of want to do some calcs here because if it's stab damage it's just going to be base 120 which is pretty solid plus with you have helping hand right indeedy let me check yeah you got helping hand so i could use the helping hand boost get that going or i can go for a not very effective terra move that is doubled in this terrain with helping hand this is going to be double the 160 plus the stab half in it because it's not very effective i think this does more damage so you know what i'm gonna say screw it i'm just gonna go for expanding force helping hand that's gonna be the play that is gonna be the play they're gonna be able to soak it but still the damage output's gonna be a bit greater so I don't mind this. So this is where things get a little scary, right? This is where things get a little scary because once they pop Trick Room, they can just bring out straight um, Torkoal next to a Ranguru and just use Instruct. Right? That's where things get a little weird. So follow me, pops out here. It don't really matter. We're still going for the 684. So how much? I want to see. I'm actually kind of curious. How much damage is this going to do? I like it. I like that damage. I honestly like that damage. This thing is eject buttoning now, and he's just gonna go straight into Torkoal. And honestly, if you go into Torkoal, I can just hard swap. Hard swap into Pelipper. Weird Ear actually comes out here. Weird Ear does. I don't mind staying in with this combo then, so Trick Room probably flying. Yeah. Trick Room is here. They got Trick Room. Weird Ear on the field. I'm surprised he didn't go Torkoal, and honestly, let's just pop another Expanded Force. Might as well, right? Minus well, helping hand expanded force. It's doing decent damage. Ranguru is super bulky. Same thing with Indeedee. Same thing with Indeedee. So, I mean, you can have all the psychic types you want. We're still popping expanded force. I'm still popping. So, if they do have Torkoal in the back end, we kind of want them to throw it out first. So, then we can throw out the weather. Kind of control it that way. That's the plan. So, not, not gonna... It's not gonna be bad to have Pelipper and Ludicolo in the back end here. I'm surprised they didn't bring out Torkoal if they did have it, right? It seems like Torkoal would have been the play there. Especially after Trick Room setup, but just instruct the Ranguru. Then from here, we're going straight helping hand expanded force. You give me no reason not to. He's gonna end up using Fling. He's gonna Fling. Now he's got a little combo going. So is that weakness policy? Yeah, yo, this thing weakness policy. Okay, so I see the combo. So he's gonna be weakness policy. He's gonna eat up this berry too. Lechi Berry's gonna boost his attack. It's gonna be this thing plus three. Okay, now I'm terrified. Should've went for following me here. Should've went for follow me. It's plus three on attack. Actually, plus two on special attack. Leech Berry don't really do much. Expanding Force doing some damage here. I actually like that combo, but let's see how much damage our Expanding Force does. Not bad. A Rangaroo down to like one HP. You got you low enough. Um, I can't really use any first turn priority. I mean, we should just go for another Expanding Force. And to be honest, I think we just protect Indeedee here. I mean, follow me helping hand doesn't really do much here. So this combo looking rather annoying considering they can just instruct this now, right? Double X Manny Force. Yeah. I don't know how I'm gonna play this. Gonna need to waste some turns here. Yep, there it is. Instruct. Great combo. Love it. Th thought it was gonna be Torkoal, but Weird Ear. Just as strong. Maybe even more strong, especially in this stream. So we have to waste out some Tailwind turn, or not Tailwind, Trick Room turns here. Because we're not going to win this match, we don't stand a chance winning this match. 
with this Pokemon. And if it's Torkoal in the back end, which I think it is, right? Then we have a problem. We're just going for EQ. Did you just go for... Did you go for EQ or Expanding Force there? I've seen EQ, but I, when you instruct it, I think you instructed the uh, Expanding Force. Okay, so from here, I could use Focus Ash. Oh, or I could just Wide Guard, waste out these turns all day. Might as well save this for Ludicolo. So I can Wide Guard and potentially just swap a turn or two. That's an all-day kind of play for us. It's an all-day kind of Wide Guard play for us. Here comes Wide Guard. Let's do this. Let's go into Dazzling Gleam. Look to just finish off a of Ranguru. Get rid of that Pokemon. Just get after it. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. So we're probably going to swap out Pelipper at least once here. And the reason I say that is because I'm trying to get rid of this Trick Room. But I do believe Torkoal to be in the back end. So now comes Instruct. EQ flying. We love it because we're wide guarding. And then chances are you're expanding for it. So it just seems like you have a bunch of double hitting moves here, right? That seems like your little play. So wide guard Pelipper going to clutch up so massively. And then show me going for expanded force as well. Yeah, all day. All day long. So wasting out these turns, doing us great justice here. And Dazzling Gleam now going to fly out here. Dazzling Gleam. Cool. So dealing some damage on the rank group, picking up the KO, bringing Weird Air down to pretty much one shot. And now terrain should end. Am I correct on that? All the little like squigglies that come out of the terrain. Look at them. They're all like they're like blue, yellow, and purple. They just look so funny. And the final Pokemon isn't Torkoal, so that actually helps us out tremendously. It's gonna be Lorantis. Lorantis comes out here. Um We have one turn in both Trick Room and the other one, so I mean might as well wide guard up, play it safe. Wide guard just dazzling gleam. Let's do that. I mean wide guard's just the safest play here. There's one turn left in both of these. If we can just either wide guard or survive a shot, we should be fine. A knockoff's gonna thrive out into Indeedee. We end up uh, soaking that, and there's a double edge, so we're dead to that. Actually, we have Sash. A little bit of focus Sash action, and this is pretty much wraps up the match, right? Weird here. Get on out of here. Wide guard's so clutch. It really is. Wide guard goes under the radar so much. It's it's a really good move. Now Dazzling Gleam's gonna fly. Weird here actually died out to recoil damage. Now it's going to be game. That's going to be game. Unless the Lorantis is that fast. I think Lorantis is a sick Pokemon. Like, look at this design. It's just... What is it? Praying Mantis? Oh, you still have Indeedee. You still have Indeedee. So, take your terrain back out and about. Back out and about. And I still have Ludicolo, which is... Eh. It's okay. I don't have Terra anymore. But, I mean, might as well go for a Hurricane here alongside with Dazzling Gleam. Best bet. And yeah, they don't even go for follow me. Hurricane should KO all day. Does not KO. Indeed, can you go first? Oh, but we get the ducks. The ducks are thriving. We love the ducks. Dazzle Gleam double KO? Not even one KO. Ducks for the KO? Ducks for the KO? Ducks for the KO. Let's go. I haven't had a duck KO in a long time. That might be like my first or second for Scarlet and Violet. Love a good old duck KO. But they end up popping Trick Room. No big deal. I have Ludicolo in the back end. It, it, it's game set match. So we're not using Ludicolo's weakness policy today. But I feel like we fully showcased Ludicolo's power, right? Just go into Surf next to Pelipper. It's game set match every single time. It's game set match every single time. But there it is. That's game. I believe our opponent is going to cancel this match. If not, you're just going to die out to expand your force. I mean, honestly, you have a chance at double KO, but you're not going to win this match. Because if you outspeed in the trick room, you can just dazzle gleam here. And you will definitely pick up the KO onto my 1 HP Pelipper, but I think it will probably KO my Indeed here. But again, they just cancel. We go 2 and 1. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. 2 and 1 for today's video, rocking out with Ludicolo and Pelipper. We also got to use Gardevoir and Indeed in that third and final match. And on top of that, Ogre Palm was amazing. We didn't bring Iron Treads in the first match, didn't get to use it, but it was there for a good reason. Would have countered a Fluttermane and Golden Go. But again, 2-1, we'll take a winning record all day. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread the positivity day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.